Hello, I am Coffee Doug for the Saturday review uh, for Rough Cuts DVD review. Um, this week I will be reviewing The Blind Side. Uh, basically what I've been doing lately is try, I found out what movies were nominated for the Golden Globes and possibly the Oscars, that's not announced yet. And uh, I've been trying to go see them because I always hate at the award shows, a lot of times you haven't seen the movies that they're talking about. And that's always kind of bugged me, and I could rant and rant about the process of the way they choose movies and their nominees and whatever. Either way, I've been trying to see a few different movies that are getting buzz and, uh, or nominated for Best Actress, Actor, yada yada. Um, so I went and saw The Blind Side, and I'd actually heard good uh, things about it. It is based on a true story of uh, um, the guy's name is Michael Orr. Um, he is an NFL player for the Baltimore Ravens right now. And it is the story of how he came into uh, kind of playing football, but also about the family that adopted him and took him in when he was homeless and down on his luck and uh, definitely not doing that great um, in life at the time. It uh, is rated PG-13. It runs about two hours. Came out this year. It's in theaters right now. It was uh, The movie's written and directed by John Lee Hancock. And I don't think I know much work by that guy, but it stars uh, Sandra Bullock, um, Tim McGraw, Kathy Bates, and uh, Quentin Aaron. Quentin Aaron is the guy that plays Michael Orr, or uh, the kid that plays him. Um, Sandra Bullock is getting a lot of uh, publicity, isn't the right word, press, or a, a lot of you know people are really respecting her work in this film. She did an amazing job. Like, when you watch it, you don't... I, I don't know, I have an image or... I've always liked Sandra Bullock. I'm fine with her. Almost every movie I've ever seen her in, she's cool with me, you know. Um, great actress, cute chick. But it, uh, this movie, I, I don't know, I never really thought Sandra Bullock. It was just like she portrayed um, her character so well that uh, it, it's just astounding to me. She, she's nominated for um, Best Actress at the Golden Globes. And uh, she definitely deserves that nomination. Um, <coughs> she plays the mother of the family that adopts this kid, um, Michael Orr. And this, this lady just has such conviction. And attitude might not be the right word, but she is just very aggressive. When she wants something done, she gets it done. And she doesn't take bullshit from anybody. And I feel like... That was probably a true portrayal of the character. I've read interviews about the family and um, about Sandra Bullock playing her and uh, the real lady on the set. And, of course, it is hollywood it up. You know, Hollywood kind of uh, took liberties, I'm sure, to make the story a little more dramatic or whatever. But um, it, uh, it, this movie will uh, appeal to fans of football, for sure, because they'll, you know, football fans will know about this player, and they've probably followed this player during the 2009 season. But it'll also, it's a really good family film. Like, you could take your kids to this, and uh, it surprises me that the movie is doing that well in theaters, being that type of sports movie uh, family film, um, just because those have been done so many times. But I feel like this one's a little different. It's uh, it's not trying to show, you know, it's not like so, that some team that gets beat the whole way through and then in the end they win the final game. It's nothing like that. It's just showing this kid's progressiveness as he's taken in, uh, you know, an African-American kid taken in by a white family and how pe some people in the community, like, laugh at it or they, you know, think, what are you doing? And this family really stands up and, you know, they say, like... There, there's just one good scene where Sandra Bullock's friends are kind of ridiculing her or joking with her. Oh, why don't you adopt him? Blah, blah, blah. And, you know, she says, shame on you. Like, why do you judge just because he's black? That doesn't make any sense. Like, he's a kid that really needs help right now. And the teachers at the school think he's stupid because he doesn't talk a lot. But he doesn't talk a lot because... He doesn't have much to say to them. He's been through hell so far, and they would not understand what he's went through. And uh, they get into that in the movie, and they just definitely show the characters progress as it goes along. So, um, if you go see The Blind Side, I do think you'll enjoy it, most people. Um, and it uh, it's definitely worth checking out, and Sandra Bullock absolutely deserves her nomination um, in the role of the mother of the film. Kathy Bates is also in it. I really liked Kathy Bates' character. Uh, did a real good job. And I'm not the hugest 
you know, fan of football movies or whatever, usually they're okay, but I thought this one was well done and good for the family, so check out The Blind Side um, before the Golden Globes, you know, so that way you could say you've seen at least one movie that's got some kind of nomination, and uh, I am Coffee Doug, yet again, for a Rough Cut Saturday review. Thanks for watching, and please leave comments. Tell me what you thought of the movie. I love reading your guys' comments about what you thought. Um, rate the video, you know, watch the other Rough Cutters, and uh, happy Saturday, happy New Year.